What's up, you guys? So today is uh, Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday. I was gonna record yesterday, but I ended up. Uh, well, I was gonna record the lights and all that stuff. I was gonna go buy them and everything to set it up in the garage, but everything changed. Um, I'm working on a deal for another vehicle. That means if I get this vehicle, my Civic will be put in the garage and. We will go ahead and finish gutting it, and we will make it a track car. That's if the deal goes through this week, which I believe it's going to go through. Um, another buddy of mine dropped off another car. I know, it's dark in here. Let me see, let this thing focus. But either way, he dropped off this car. This is going to be another paint job. I don't know why my camera isn't focusing, but it's going to need a fender. And it's going to need a rear bumper, because it's all cracked right there. He got hit on this side. I'm going to probably have to pull this out. Either that, or I believe I could use take this piece off and get it from the junkyard one of the two and then he's got a rust spot over here that I'm gonna have to cut out and fix it's probably the size of my fist and I have to cut all this out get it fixed and there's nothing special with this car there's no swap or anything so basically he just wants a paint job I guess now that I've been uh, doing these little paint jobs word has gotten around and I just have a lineup of like everybody wants a paint job now there's like another like three or four more cars so this one right here the neon I haven't finished because the guy hasn't uh, my buddy he hasn't found the rear bumpers and I've gone to the junkyard and I've looked and we cannot find the rear bumper or the the bumper for the front so we looked online and online they want a shitload of money just for a stock bumper the aftermarket ones go a little bit cheaper than the stock ones for some reason but we don't want to go with that fiberglass bullshit we just want to find the original bumpers um, yeah, so this was all yesterday that happened. And then yesterday also, I had to call the cops because somebody dumped a shitload of garbage here in front of my garage. They just went ahead. And they went crazy dumping shit. Look at all this. So now I gotta clean up and for the rest just buy a damn garbage sticker, clean up somebody else's mess. Look at that, dirty diapers, nasty motherfuckers, man. Yeah, so basically down the alley that way, they didn't dump anything. But if you look closely, like way down there, let me see if I can zoom in. Zoom. So either way, my camera died. I just put some more batteries in there. But they did dump some shit down, down the block. Right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get all this stuff to the back of the house and get it burned. At least all the wood. We have AJ here. He just got here. Too early in the morning for this shit. <laughs> Dude, this was, this was a Mexican. There's, there's like some Spanish shit. There's like some tortillas, some beans. You got some Modellos. You got some Modellos. <laughs> got some dirty ass diapers. Yeah. Alright, so I broke down the dresser, me and AJ. And check out what we found. Juan Garcia. 
and Lila J. Bryant. And some Juan Garcia. So we did a little bit of det detective work. And the cops are back on their way. And I think they're going to pay a visit to uh, Juan Garcia. We'll see what happens. But I did get all this broken down. And I got the fire pit going. But I think Juan Garcia is going to have to make his way back over here. And clean this whole mess up. Because I'm not doing it. And basically they went to the guy's house. And I got most of it cleaned up. But they went to the guy's house. And I guess he's moving out. So they put a note. They couldn't find them. So they put a note. That when they do find them. They pull them over or whatever. That I guess he's going to get busted for this. But. They left the carpet too. I'm going to take the carpet. I'm going to throw it on the floor in the garage just so I can have like uh, a spot for like overspray or whatever if any overspray falls down I want to get this garage all cleaned up the cop was really cool um, he was talking to me about his RSX with the K20 just uh, he was asking me like different questions about his car and we were chit chatting for a while but now I guess I'm gonna get back at it. So I'm about to get back at it and get that uh, garage all cleaned up. And check out the fire pit that I got going on. Yeah, so I've been burning everything. So I'm gonna head back to the garage and start moving shit around. So I got both of the garage doors open right now. Look at all this lighting now. This is awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these cars out from inside and make some room because now we got to make room for that car. I got to make room for this car. So I think this car is just going to go like on an angle that way. That car is going to go on an angle that way. And then my Civic will just pull straight in right here. And then these bikes, I'm not sure where I'm going to park them yet. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so I think I'm going to go ahead and back up the next car in. Uh, that liquid that you guys see right there, that's not from the neon, that's from the motor. I took it out here and it kind of spilled some oil out of it. So I don't want to leave the motor buried back there just in case I want to get into it. Um, I was also thinking about this motor, and I'm thinking if the valves hit the piston, I don't know what kind of damage is in there. So I, I'm not sure if I want to use the same uh, crankshaft and all that stuff, because I don't know if there's going to be any damage to it. So I might just open it up, take a look, and maybe just save the casing for the engine. Save the alternator, save some of the pulleys, but we'll see once I get into it what kind of thing. Alright, so I got the car backed in here. I got the garage pretty cleaned up. Um, I got all three of the cars, two of the bikes in the garage. I still have space for me to walk through between these cars. And then on this side, I still have space to walk around. So basically, I think tomorrow, when I get back from work, I'll leave my car outside. And I'm going to pull that Civic to this spot and I'm going to start sanding it. Start getting some stuff done on it because of the fact that this guy needs his car back in the next two weeks. So I think this is going to be the end of the video. This was just a little update, I guess. I'm always saying that. Just a little update. But either way, this is going to be it. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see the paint job on the black Civic. Um, I think he's going to go with the blue. That's what he had told me. But 
comment below. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I'll go ahead and start recording. If not, I'll just wait off and see what other kind of videos I make. So, till then, catch you guys on my next video. Peace out. Stay safe.